Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. So if you've ever wondered how you can make your low quality $10 costing microphone sound like a professional $80 microphone, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that. And if you're a bit high pitched, um, we're going to make you sound a bit mature and you're, we're going to make your voice sound defined using Audacity. We're using uh, all effects and well not all of them but some of them uh, which come for free so audacity is a free program it's easy to learn easy to use i recommend you going on the internet and getting it the link is in the description it's free to download and it's very simple so i recommend you do it right now in order to follow the tutorial now you can do this for your gameplays commentaries tutorials whatever you're doing whatever needs your voice present uh, you can make your voice sound a lot better using all these effects and following this tutorial so let's start before starting your to, um, recording I really recommend you guys um, uh, turning off all of the fans uh, all of the things that can cause background noise turning off unnecessary programs because they make the CPU um, they use more CPU and that generates more noise from the computer which actually does get picked up by your microphone so try to keep all of that to a minimum but if you still have some background noise we can fix that but try to keep it to a minimum so now um, I left a second of silence so you'll see follow me on Instagram the link is in the description so this is uh, the um, this is the clip that I made if you do not believe me this has this has no effects anything so I'll just um, delete it and make another one so Follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description. So follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description. So as you can see, that's how it sounds. Now we have this um, period where I'm totally silent and the microphone picks up only the background noise. So I recommend you, if you have the background noise, you do this. If you don't, you can skip this step. But if you do, just uh, drag high click and then just like drag the part that has the background noise click on noise reduction click on get noise profile what this does is it gets the um, frequencies where the the background noise the static is and it basically um, gets it it knows how it sounds like and what frequencies at, and at what which frequencies it appears and then you select the whole um, project. If your recording is longer, just select the whole one, just double click, go to effect, click noise reduction and click OK. So as you can see, the, the background noise has disappeared and uh, it sounds much better. After that, we're going to want to start actually modifying our voice. So now just highlight the whole project. If your um, recording is a bit longer, it's going to pop up a window on anything you're doing. It's going to say, um, I don't know, it's going to say applying equalization, applying whatever you're doing. So you're going to have to wait a couple of seconds until it has applied to the whole recording. Now we're going to go, the first thing you want to do is click on equalization. And for the curve, um, you're going to make a new one. So the first curve is going to be unnamed. Or um, you can click flatten and then you're going to um, start modifying it. Now I've already made one, so I'll show you how you can do that. But basically click on flatten and then click on graphic and now you can see all of the frequencies and all of the DB's um, uh, at what DB is which frequency located and uh, you can uh, basically copy this if you want what this does is it softens the voices on some of the frequencies and uh, makes um, and sharpens them on other ones after you've copied this just go ahead on the draw one and uh, call it whatever you want I've called mine a custom one it's over here and then just click OK so after that's applied you're gonna want to go to equalization again this time just ch just uh, select a curve to bass boost change the bass to for example 6 dB just hold this little dot and change it click OK and then we're gonna want to add some treble to our voice and just select the curve click on treble boost if you're a female, you're going to want the treble to be a bit lower, but if you're male, you can keep it at whatever. I just like to lower it at 6. If you are you have a girly voice, you might want to put it a bit even more down. If not, you can keep it at 9 or 6. After that's done, we're going to want to normalize the track. This normalizes the amplitude of the um, sounds to 
whatever you made it uh, by default it's 1 dB and now um, we're gonna want to compress it to make the wavelengths um, to make some of them not jump as you can see the one which was the highest here uh, we made it we compressed it a bit so it matches the other wavelengths so there's no sudden spikes in audio after that we're gonna want to normalize it again and uh, now we're finished so let's see the final product so let's take follow me on Instagram the link is in the description that sounds pretty good if it's too loud for you you can set the gain to be a bit lower follow me on Instagram the link is in the description that sounds a lot better compared to the voice now that I'm speaking right now as you can see it sounds much better now if your voice is a bit high-pitched um, you could have done this on the beginning or at the end I usually do it at the beginning but I forgot right now so you can do it at the end just change the pitch to for example minus four follow me on Instagram the link is in the description as you can see it makes it a bit more mature and uh, yeah that's pretty much it as the sample says go ahead and follow me on Instagram the link is in the description I hope you like this video I hope it teaches you something you can use um, your commentaries and uh, gameplays tutorials are gonna sound fresh right now they're gonna sound crisp and clear and uh, I'll all at a price of like ten dollars to fifteen dollars a microphone and microphones you don't have to go ahead you don't have to go and buy like eighty dollar microphones to sound professional you're just gonna have to know the right um, tricks to make to sound professional so yeah thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one bye